Hello, this is Mark, and I just wanted to walk you through a lead nurturing process built in Zoho CRM using blueprints. So basically, as you can look at the, as you can see the blueprint, we have multiple status or states, which are in white circles, and we have transitions. So transitions are usually what tells the user what to do, and uh, st states are telling the user where we are in the process. These are usually locked processes and forcing the users to uh, enter information before they can move on. And it makes users not to make mistakes. So let me just go through this lead nurturing one. Uh, as soon as a lead is created, uh, we are going to start gathering details and uh, we're going to start contacting the lead. So we assume that the initial information about the lead exists, like information about the name, email, and phone number. But we are trying to capture more information. So we are going to follow up and try to gather information. If the uh, lead is not available, when you try to contact them, it's just going to go through a loop until you can get a hold of them. And basically, as soon as you establish a contact, it's going to start asking more questions and all the questions captured. Now we can, you know, we get to the state that is it's contacted, basically that state. And that after that state, when you captured all the information, you can decide if the lead is not interested or it's not qualified, which is like basically the information that we collected is not uh, useful and or it's a junk lead or basically if it's qualified and if it's qualified this blueprint will actually call a function that that function will automatically convert that lead to a to a contact and an account so you don't need to manually do that so let me just start going through this process in an actual lead and I just want to keep this open on the left side so we can see where we are. Now I'm just going to create a lead. And this lead actually, this the whole process works based on the lead status. As you can see in this drop down, we have all these uh, values, and these values are available in this uh, blueprint. So let me just start creating a lead. Say the company is uh, IBM, for example. You don't need to uh, enter all the information, but just mark. And Smith, you know. Maybe just phone number. That's it. As soon as I save this lead, it's going to start the blueprint. It means it's just going to provide the button here. As you can see, this transition starts. And you can start uh, as a user working on this lead. When you click on that, it's just going to prompt you with some questions, predefined. And it's going to give you a message. So it's just going to tell you to gather this information. As you can see, you can just gather the country, whatever industry they are in. What is the lead source and who's the decision maker? If this person is a decision maker or not, technically. Save. When I save this, as you can see, we just, the state changes to not contacted. So at this point, I have two options. I have to establish contact and I have to reattempt or basically this either the contact uh, the lead is available or not so if it's not available no answer so it's going to say uh, a task has been assigned to you so you can follow up with them tomorrow as soon as i save this you can see that open activity is increased to one meaning a task will be assigned to you and this task is assigned to rosa because she's the lead owner and also on the home page you can see that this task for uh, uh, IBM and Smith, Mark Smith has been assigned to Rosa to follow up it. So let me just go back. Just wanted to show you when there is no answer, it's going to assign a task for you to follow up on the following day so you don't miss this. 
and now you see that the only option is reattempt. So I'm just going to reattempt and calling that. Uh, okay, now the second time I'm just calling second contact, no success. Let's say what it's going to do. Let's say it was the second day I called them and it's going to assign another task. So I have to follow up with them on the following day again. Again, on this home page, I'm going to have another, another one, another task assigned to me to follow up. So let's say third time, I'm just going to establish the contact. And now it's going to tell me, OK, these are the information that has been already uh, captured for this lead. And below is just uh, basically what I'm going to add. So I'm contacted with client. And now I have more information to add. So now I have all the information. If I miss to capture information here, if I don't have all the information here, let's say some of them are missing and I save this, it won't take me to the next step. It's just going to show me a progress bar here. So next time I come here again, I have to click on it and make sure those information are collected before I can move forward. So network budget 50K and timeline. And now this is the time that it's going to take me to the next stage where you can say the sta state is contacted. I'm here. And I have four options now. So either the person is not interested. If I click on this, this is going to change the status to the last lead. If I click on junk lead, this is going to change the lead status to junk. If I click on not qualified, it's just going to change the lead status to not qualified. So the only option that I can click on that is going to change, convert the lead to a contact and an account is lead qualified. So let's just click on that because anything else I click on is just going to be the end of it. And it's just going to change the lead status, and that's it. It's going to get out of the blueprint. Qualify lead. What's going to happen is that, OK, once you click Save, the lead will be converted to an account and a contact. And a task will be assigned to you to follow up on that account, the new account that will be created. So until your final experience with the client, client is going to move forward. So I'm just going to save this, and that's it. At this point, the lead will be deleted, and an account and a contact will be created. So I have to just refresh. As you can see, here I have one account, which is IBM, and the contact. So if I click on the account, it's already con converted. Now if I go to the lead, that lead doesn't exist anymore. If I go back to the account, I can see that already uh, I have all the notes that I've taken at this uh, at the lead level will be copied over to the account. And if there is any open activities with that lead will be also uh, will be also copied over to the account. Uh, so basically now if I go back and click on the contact, same thing, I can see there is a link to the account. And also the notes are here and activities are here. So you're, now it's already you know assigned the task uh, to the user uh, to follow up with that account. So now you know you don't need to worry about the lead anymore and start from the account. Same user needs to follow up with them. All right, thank you.